One night, three fires adds up to a lot of questions in one community. One of the fires destroying a historic Methodist church. The small city of Cotton Plant saw the fires Sunday night. Katrin Asaf is there now with more on the community is trying to get some answers to these questions. Katrin. Absolutely, Bob. As you can see behind me, this is all that remains of this historic structure, 112 years old. This is the United Methodist Church in Cotton Plants, and it's one of three structures that burned Sunday night, all within just a few yards of each other. Now, two of those structures were abandoned buildings, but one has much more meaning to the community than just a few walls. This, the neighbors of Cotton Plant will never forget. Two fires burning just feet away from each other. One doomed structure, a church. My first reaction was just overwhelming grief. Melanie Tubbs was there Sunday night, watching as flames engulfed her church. She held a service there only hours before, and now watched as it collapsed. We had no idea Sunday morning that that would be the last worship service we ever got to have in our building. Two days later, the falling ashes are replaced by petals. The ruins, a reminder of what once was. It was like a historic landmark. Nikita Thomas grew up here. Although not a congregant, she joined Tubbs for a prayer service held in the building's smoldering shadow. My first initial thought was just that who would burn a church? It saddened, saddens me to just see that somebody would do this. A sadness shared by many. God is with you. But also a hope that from the ashes rises a new start. Cotton Plant may be a small community, but the reach of the Cotton Plant United Methodist Church is very large. And a testament to a community grieving, but still together. Amen and amen. God bless fire that is still under investigation. All three of them are still under investigation. And the cotton, uh, the cotton plant fire department, the ATF, Arkansas State Police, and the Woodruff County Sheriff's Office are all investigating what could have caused these three fires. They couldn't give too much information as it's still under investigation, but we were told that fire marshals were on scene trying to pinpoint exactly what started these three blazes. Now, in terms of the parish, they said that they will continue services in Fellowship Hall, which is just behind this structure here and it did miraculously survive all of those flames. We're also told, luckily, no one was injured. Reporting in Cotton Plant, Katrin Asaf. Kate, back to you.